Hello, I'm Jefferson Mays at the uh, lovely Walter Kerr Theatre, and I play the entire Dicewith family in A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. I don't understand the poor. No, I don't understand the poor. The lives they lead of want and need. And I should think it would be a bore. I um, have to play these uh, eight different characters. Um, and uh, I'd never really had this challenge before. Well, that's not completely true. I did do a one-man show called I Am My Own Wife, in which I played 37 different characters. All of them were, uh, by default, wearing a, a little black dress and a string of pearls. However, this one, the, the changes are total and complete, um, and they make my head spin. Uh, some of them are only seconds long and happen in the dark, in the wings, so I'm literally running off stage from the light into the dark where I'm set upon by four muscular and determined dressers sometimes who tear my clothes off, put me into another outfit, rip off a mustache, slap on a wig, hand me a prop, squirt water in my mouth, and push me bodily back onto the stage. Um, and uh, some of them don't last very long. Uh, it's a rather detestable family, the Dicewitz. I think that they all represent the evils of the British Empire. Uh, I call them the sort of eight deadly sins of uh, Imperial Britain. The greed, lust, um, rapaciousness of all kinds. And uh, so they don't stick around very long, so it's hard for me to get inordinately fond of any one of them, but I'm kind of fond of the whole family in general. Um, but uh, I tried to differentiate the Dicewitz uh, with vocal changes of course, um, especially for the women, and um, uh, with, with little physical uh, hallmarks, I, I guess you could call them, uh, and make them very r recognizable in, in a broad sort of way. I was painting with big strokes. I, I sort of worked from the outside out uh, in developing characters uh, f for this particular musical play. Linda chose wonderful uh, costumes. They're, uh, they're pretty distinct, and I'm, I'm happy to say, uh, to some degree, uh, that uh, people are rather conf people don't know that there uh, is one actor playing all these roles. Uh, my wife has overheard conversations in the uh, ladies' room at intermission, saying, "Oh, isn't it wonderful? They got actors that all look kind of like they're from the same family to pay the di play the dice with." And this, of course, delights me and depresses me in equal measure because I don't get any credit, do I? If people walk out of the theater not knowing. Well, it seems to me nothing but stubbornness. Oh, what's all the suffering for? To be civilized is in terrible taste. I don't understand the poor.